Okay, so what we've got here is a component, relatively simple. If you look at it in that view, you can see it's kind of like a, a what we call a dog bone type shape. It's got a couple of boys in and it's got some chamfer details on there. If I just quickly drop over into the 3D model and the model environment that you were all, that you were all no doubt familiar with, you can see that uh, there's an extra tab just about halfway across there for cam. If I open up the cam tab, and if I go into my browser and activate that cam browser there, you'll see that I've got now the option to create um, to create my setups and my toolpaths and so on and so forth. Okay, first option there, as you can see, we've got a phase one operation. That falls under this category, 2D milling. We've got 2D milling, we've got 3D milling. 2D milling is contour driven, 3D milling is surface uh, driven. As you can see by this, 2D milling is perfect for this component because we've got a lot of contours um, with no surfaces, with no, with no uh, fancy shapes that we, we need to, to produce on there. So if I go up to this icon first, this would open up this panel. And first and foremost, it selected the 50 millimeter face. I just click tool. I can do a search through my existing library or I can preset a series of tools within this, uh, within this component, select 50 millimeter face, and that's it. So I'm gonna to move to the next tab, which is geometry. It will look at my stock. So I want to face mill all the way along the top of this component. If I move to the height tab, you'll see that if I look on the side view, you've got color coordinated heights. You've got clearance height, retract, feed, top and bottom, okay? Again, every feature that you use has got those colors, uh, color coordination there. For passes, I'm gonna make no changes again. And the same goes for linking. I'm just gonna click, okay. So all I've done basically is select one tool, okay? You can see now the tool path has been uh, highlighted on the component. As you can see there, the red arrow, if I press play, pretty much done what I wanted it to do. If I open up the passes tab there, you can see there we've got an option to pass extension. If I just put a figure in there, such as 30 millimeters and press enter, what can you see now? It comes all the way off in both respects, okay? So it doesn't produce anything called a back cut. So you probably get a better surface finisher on your, your older types of machines. And that's it, first milling, very minimal. One change made, but everything else straight out of the box.